Okay, everybody, sedimentary rocks, welcome. This is um, Mr. Gazza, bringing you another Gazdonian production on sedimentary rocks. So here we go. Um, first, sedimentary rocks, let's, uh, let's start thinking about a muddy river. You have a fast-flowing muddy river, and it flows into the ocean. When it hits the ocean, what happens to the speed of the water of the river? The speed slows down. As it slows down, what's going to happen to the mud that's in that water? It will settle out to the bottom. And that is, will be called sediment. And you could have, um, in that case, it will be mud. You can have the, that sediment can be sand if the river's really flowing fast. It could be pebbles. And they end up on the bottom of the ocean. And they have layers and layers. And then that turns into rock. Those rocks are called sedimentary rocks. So let's just uh, look at some. This right here. Because I'm focused on there, you really can see that there are a lot of pieces. You really see, look look at this rounded rock right here. But you can see that well. I don't know. It's a rounded piece here. Uh, let me get another. Is it gonna focus? No, it's not focusing that well. How about right here? Uh, you can't see that great. How about right like this? There you go. So focus. You can see these rounded pebbles. Here, here, here. They're all in there. Um, they're rounded pebbles, and between them, the stuff that's keeping them together, we're going to call cement. So this is a very basic um, sedimentary rock in that it has these pebbles and sediment and the um, cement keeping them together. This sedimentary rock would be to pull out our reference table. Would be conglomerate here. It's the largest rounded fragments. It says conglomerates. Let's pull out another one. Here we have, here I have, this is just limestone. Okay, It doesn't look like much. The, the minerals or the, or the um, particles that make it up are so small, they're very hard to see. This is very common um, around where we are in upstate New York. It's a very common sedimentary rock. But it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but that is limestone. Oftentimes, what we look for in sedimentary rocks to know that they're sedimentary rocks is fossils. Look at this. This is a pretty good fossil of a brachiopod right here. Okay, look at this. So this was on the bottom of the ocean, and this brachiopod shell fell on the bottom in some mud, got uh, more weight on top of it by more sediment, and um, left that fossil. So if it has a fossil, it's a sedimentary rock because only sedimentary rocks. Um, have fossils. Think of a think of something um, dying and falling into a lava. There wouldn't be a fossil of it; would get burned up. So, it would get melted. So, um, oh, if it has a fossil, it's a sedimentary rock. And you can't see any other ones here. Um, in that, I have some another piece of limestone here that also has some fossils. It may be a little harder to see. Look at this right here. Can I focus? Focus. Can you see right here? This is a fossil. Let me see. This is a fossil of the tail part of a trilobite. And there's some other fossils here and here. So again, once I see this, I know that it is a sedimentary rock. And this appears to be limestone. Some of it can be hard. Is this uh, shale? Is it siltstone? Uh, is it a type of sandstone? It's really hard for you to tell um, as a high school student. So let's continue. So what we've been seeing. And let me get uh, another piece. Here's another good piece of conglomerate. And you can see these pebbles have been broken in half. You really see the pebbles, and then this stuff is the cement. This really big pebble here, and all the cement that, that keeps it together. That's what keeps it from being loose sediments. This cement has to uh, form between it and hold them all together. Okay. You really can see that there. That's a really good sample of conglomerate. This I have is, hopefully this will come out okay. Focus, focus. This is sandstone, okay? And I'm hoping you can get a good look and see the texture of it, that it is very sandy texture. Well, this has been kind of cut. It has a sandy texture to it, or gritty texture. If I go like this, do you see it better? Oh, yeah, that's good. And you kind of see it's gr gritty and sandy. 
almost you can see the individual sand grains. Looking at it very closely and in the right light is really going to help. Let me see if this can focus here. So I, oh yeah, you can kind of see it. And that sandstone that may form near a beach, wherever there's sand, that piles up. Now, these rocks we've seen so far, or such as sandstone, are called clastic, which means they have fragments or pieces. So we have, um, this is, the conglomerate is a good example of, it's pieces of other rocks. Okay, so that's called a classic sediment rock. This sandstone is pieces of quartz sand, um, and that's called a clastic. So you want to know that word. What does it take for? I think everyone is familiar with this. All right, loose sand, loose beach sand. What does it take for that sand to become? Sandstone. Okay, well, something needs to keep it together so it's not loose. Someone has to hold them together. So it needs to have two major processes need to occur. And that is the sediment needs to be compacted together or pressed together, and it needs to be cemented together. And it's another mineral that's usually in the water that will act as cement or the glue that holds those particles together. So sedimentary rock needs to be compacted and cemented. Okay, let's look at, oh, I have another piece of conglomerate here. And hopefully you can see if that focuses. Let me get a little closer, maybe. Okay. Not bad, it's hard for me to hold it. But can you see the individual, uh, they're kind of rounded pieces in there? Maybe like that one, rounded, and you see the cement in between. Hopefully you can see that okay. Focus, no. Maybe you see it, no, I can't see it from this. Oh, you see a big chunk right from the side here. This other side, I, it's not wet anymore, so it's hard to tell. But this is another good piece of conglomerate. Let's see what else we have. So there's other kinds of sedimentary rocks. Let's go back to our reference table. What we've seen, we've seen conglomerate. Breccia is similar to conglomerate. Large pieces you can see, but they're angular fragments. I don't have, have any of that. Sandstone we saw. We saw siltstone and shale are very small particles. Um, and they are, um, I don't have those pieces with me. Now there are some other types. It says chemically and organically formed rocks. Okay, let's... Um, Focus on bioclastic. Bio means life, and clastic means pieces, so it's pieces of life. And uh, limestone is one, and coal is another. In this case, bituminous coal. And I have a piece of coal right here. Okay, it has some of the yellowish parts in there. Don't really focus on that. But this is coal, um, and this forms from basically plant material in like a swamp, let's say. Plant, uh, dead plants and leaves fall into the bottom of a swamp. It doesn't totally de 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 decay. It gets compacted together, cemented together. Uh, and then this is coal. Right there. So just to give you an idea of coal, what that looks like. Bioclastic. Okay. And the other type of sedimentary rock that um, I actually don't have any of it with me would be crystalline rock salt, rock gypsum, dolostone and um, these are when you have uh, minerals that are dissolved in water and that water evaporates those minerals will precipitate out, go from being dissolved to a solid and they will build up and for instance if that mineral that's in the water is halite what you will get is rock salt. If that water has a lot of gypsum in it, the mineral, and that precipitates out and becomes solid gypsum, and you have a lot of it, you get rock gypsum. Okay, Similar idea with dolostone. Now, so those are called evapor evaporites, and they form by dissolved minerals when they become a solid, usually by that water evaporating. Okay, So just to review, sedimentary rocks, things you're looking for to tell us a sedimentary rock, basically, is rock pieces with cement, so pieces of rock or class of rock, clastic, um, that are cemented together. Fossils, if it has a fossil, it's a sedimentary rock. 
Now, it doesn't mean every sedimentary rock has fossils in it. Um, and also, rounded particles. Any rounded particles that you see, uh, that's going to point to being a sedimentary rock. So, thanks for watching, and uh, that was Sedimentary Rocks. Mr. Gaz is signing out.